Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a review of the new blush duos from Jouer. They just released three new blush palettes. I got all three to test out as PR. I've been testing them out for several days. I can let you guys know my thoughts about the formula, the different shades, what are my favorite shades, and I'll swatch all of them for you guys. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts about the new blush palettes by Jouer, then just keep on watching. So Jouer just released their new blush palettes today, January 23rd, on the Jouer website. And they came out with three palettes. They're all $30, and each of them have two blushes. So they're blush duos, and each of them have 0.39 ounces of product. So for a size comparison, I always like to give you guys a size comparison because I get really bummed out if I think something's a certain size, and then I um, order it, and it ends up being like way smaller or something. So this is the same size as the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palettes. If you have any of the duos from Charlotte Tilbury, they're the exact same size, but you do get less product in the Jouer palette. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury palettes, they have 0.56 ounces of product, and then the Jouer ones have 0.39, so you're getting about a third less. But the Charlotte Tilbury duos are $68, so I hope that you get more product in this compared to this, but they are roughly the same packaging. So I'm gonna get into all of the swatches. I'm gonna start off with this palette. It's called Coquette, and this has the darker two shades out of all three of the duos and both of these shades are cool tones so you have tease me which is the lighter one and then seduce me which is the darker shade and i do find that all of the blushes are more of a satin finish they're either shimmer or satin so this one is tease me that lighter shade and i'll insert close-up so you guys can see a better look and then seduce me is more of a berry color and seduce me is a little bit more matte but i do find that it still has a bit of a satin finish to it it's not like a true matte and then tease me is definitely more satin and more of a light pink so the next duo is my favorite this one is called adore it's what i'm wearing today and i'm going to insert clips so you guys can see how it applied on my face i just like to mix these together every time that i've been applying it i just swirl my brush into both and you guys saw me do that in my last tutorial and i just love peachy tone blushes and especially more of like a peachy brown blush that's more neutral and nude this one is almost like a setting up powder it's very very light but it's also going to give you a little bit of a bronzer look it's like a light bronzer kind of tone so the matte shade is called adore me and then the shimmer shade the lighter shade is called hold me so these are the two shades in the adore palette these are definitely my favorite shades out of all the blushes this is the one that i was planning on purchasing it if i didn't receive these i would have definitely purchased this one because i know that i love blushes like this and I just really love these tones. This is something I'm gonna reach for all the time, especially on my complexion. Like nudie blushes kind of go with every makeup look that I ever wear. So especially with traveling and stuff, I love blushes like this. And I also love that the peachier blush, the matte blush, is not too orange or too peachy. It's more of a subtle peach, like more of a nude tone. So that's definitely my favorite out of all three of the blush duos. So lastly, we have the palette in Flirt, and this one is a little bit more summery, a bit more bold, especially this shade, which is Kiss Me. And then I also really like this shade. I actually wore it as a blush topper today, in addition to the Adore Duo. So I'm gonna insert that as well, so you guys can see how it gives you a little bit of a shimmer. It's not necessarily a highlighter. But you can add just a little bit of a sheen, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Kiss Me, which I think is the most matte out of all of the blushes from the blush duos. And this one is super pink for sure. This is more of like a watermelon kind of rosy color, more of like a summery blush. And then Touch Me is the shimmer shade that is almost like a very light highlighter it's so light it's almost like a very um subtle rosy highlighter it's not something that's going to show up really as a blush i mean it's a bit more of a blush topper but because i also do like very minimal blushes i would probably wear it alone as a blush too and then you could also mix these two shades too if you don't want such a pop of color with the shade kiss me and that way it's a little bit more toned down and shimmery so for sure, the one that I recommend is Adore. If you guys like more nudie blushes, I definitely, definitely recommend this. If you have more of a medium to deep complexion, I would recommend the first one in Coquette because these are a bit deeper, especially this shade is really, really pigmented compared to the other 
um, blushes. I find that that one has more of like a full on pigment compared to the other ones. So that's something, especially if you like cool tone blushes, cause that would be my second favorite. And then the one that I would probably wear the least is flirt especially because i do not do pink blushes in general i will be wearing the shade touch me as a light highlighter but this shade kiss me that is like on my face that is super pink and that is something i definitely don't normally wear so i'm gonna just stick to adore as like my go-to so for the formula i do find that these apply really nicely i have been testing them out for almost a week now and I've worn them to like dress up and go out at night or just to like go run errands with like really, really minimal makeup. So with a bunch of different makeup looks and I've been wearing them from like morning to night as well. And I do find that they last all day. So that is definitely not an issue. And when you do dip your brush into the blushes, you will get some kick up. You will get a little bit of powdery fallout, but they don't apply like powdery they don't look like really powdery or chalky on your face they look very natural because they do have more of that satin finish to them and they do go on really nicely so you are gonna get a good color payoff they do apply really nicely and i do find that they last all day at least on my complexion with the different ones that i've tried the only one i haven't worn too too much is just that um hot pink shade actually this is the only one i've not tested out on my cheeks everything else i've worn a lot I just can't get myself to wear and commit to a blush like that, a color like that all day. But all the other ones I've worn throughout the days that I've been testing them out. So I have been liking all of the other shades. I guess that's everything for today's video. Definitely let me know if you plan on picking up the new Jouer blush duos in the comments below. Or just let me know what your favorite blushes are. I feel like we don't talk about blushes too much. And that's because I wear like the same blush every day. But let me know your blush favorites because maybe I can check out some new blushes from your favorites as well. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.